and uh, Islam cure you? How come Islam did not cure Muhammad from his mental issue? Which mental issues did he have? Well, Depression okay, I will tell you. I will tell you. Uh, I have a friend, and I want you to help me to tell me what is his situation. As long as you yourself you suffer from mental issue, I have a friend when he want to take a shower, he jump in a dirty water. And he take a shower, yeah. huh? Speaking of the dirty water, yeah, the water have dead dogs, women blood from period, garbage. He like it. Now, what do you think the reason he do that? Is that because he's smart, or his mental issue is severe? I know it is a fake hadith that one of the hypocrites that is not in the Alul Bayat. You know what the Alul Bayat is? Who who? Alul Bayat. Who is that? that is who is that? You don't know? No, I do not know. You tell me. It's not a very well known thing, but <laughs> there was one day when Muhammad, peace be upon him, he gathered a few people, such as Aisha and one of his other wives, a few other companions, and he said that these people will always be blessed and they will always be forgiven for their sins. And there are some people that were jealous of not being in this chosen group. So they decided to write hadiths that would. Try to bring down Islam, bring it new reverts and converts away from the religion. That's deep. And I do know that uh -huh. one of the hadiths is about Muhammad, peace be upon him. He would go into dirty water and. Yeah, so this is why you are being a hypocrite. You know the hadith, and this is a Sahih hadith. So don't tell me this is the hypocrite they write the hadith because the Muslim consider it very authentic. Why you are lying to me? Why you make this a story? Why you make this a story it says there's hypocrite, they want to make fake hadith. Your prophet, he killed all his enemies. No hypocrite left around him, supposedly. He is the only hypocrite in town. And as you see, this is Sahih. Do you see it says Sahih? No, I can't see. My phone isn't working. No, your phone is working. What are you talking about? <clears throat> no, it wasn't mm. standing. No, it does. No, it does. Okay. So that, does it say Sahih? Yeah. Yes, great Sahih. Uh huh. Does it say the second one Sahih? Yes. Does it say second one Hassan? Yes. Does it say yes. second Hassan? Yes. Does it say Sahih? Yes. Does it say Sahih? Yes. Does it say Sahih? This is Al Bukhari. There's no need for Sahih. Does it say uh, this is Al Bukhari too? So all of this is Sahih. And now what you say to me? There is oh, some can people. Can you not scroll real quick? There is some people. Brother, they lie, write fake hadith about the Prophet. Is that your answer? Look up to you a My friend, you don't even know how to say the name. Give me a break. Because now listen carefully. So this hadith in front of us, this hadith in the front of us is Sahih. Now let us go and see if Muhammad is mentally ill or not. What make a person mentally ill? Did you try to commit suicide? Hold on, I'm reading. Did you try to commit suicide before? I hope not. I can't understand what you're saying. Can you say it again? If somebody tried to commit suicide, is that because he suffered from mental illness? Yes. Did your prophet try to commit suicide? I don't believe so. What if I show you the reference from Sahih Hadith? Okay, show me. Okay, <clears throat> here we will see your prophet trying to commit so fast. No problem, I will show it to you. I will slow down. Uh, you're a prophet, he tried to commit suicide many times. And remember, it's you who said yes, the one who tried to commit suicide is meant to hear. So now, maybe me and you, we can reach an agreement. Uh, about the situation of Muhammad. Here we go. This is the this is the hadith in front of you, and it says here. Let me zoom in. That when Muhammad, when Waraqa bin Nufal he died, and Waraqa bin Nufal is the one who is making the Quran up to Muhammad. As soon as Muhammad uh, Waraqa he died, the Prophet becomes so sad, and the inspiration stop coming. What is the relation between Waraqa bin Nufal? And the Quran, because simply he is the one writing Quran. 
So now there is no more inspiration because simply the one who was making the Quran is dead. So Muhammad became uh, so Warakh uh, uh, al died, and the divine inspiration has also paused for a while, and the Prophet becomes so sad. As we have heard, he had intended several times to throw himself from the top of the high mountains. And every time he went up to the top of the mountain in order to throw himself down, Gabriel, Gabriel, or Jibreel, would appear before him and say, O oh Muhammad, you are indeed the messenger of Allah, in truth. Whereupon this, his heart become quiet, and he would come down and would return home. And whenever the period of the coming inspiration become long, he would do the same as before. But when he used to reach the top of the mountain, Gabriel appeared to him and say, Muhammad, come on, man, you are indeed a prophet of Allah. And then he go back. So this is your prophet. Mentally ill. I mean, so what if the inspiration stop? Each time the inspiration stop, Muhammad, I want to kill myself. Leave me alone. Please, I want to kill myself. So he climbed the top of the mountain. And, and, and the funny is, the angel, he wait for him until the poor Muhammad in the top of the mountain. And now he decided to talk to him. Why you don't talk to him before he leave the house? What is this? And you agreed that the one who do that, why Why Muhammad is, and look, when the angel says to him, for sure you are a prophet, or that's mean Muhammad himself, he don't believe he's a prophet. Imagine you were just a human being one day. Ah, that's good. Well, all of us are a human being. Yes. That's that's not that's yes. not an excuse. You saw, did, did Allah choose did, did Allah choose someone is an idiot or he, Allah he chose the best of mankind? So what if he's a human being? I don't go and jump in the top of the mountain because something I'm not I don't like. So what you know Allah he decide actually this is disobedient to God. This is disobedience because you don't kill yourself. Killing yourself is disobedience to God. You are committing big sin. So if he is a prophet of God, he is the last one to go and jump, try to kill himself. You're not listening to me. You just interrupt constantly. You are the one who said to me, it's a, it's a, it's, it's a clear mental illness. Please let me speak. Speak. Will you interrupt? Let go, man. Imagine you're a human being. Uh -huh. You're a shepherd one day. You're what? And the next you meet a woman named Khadija. You marry her. And soon after, marry long years later after her marriage. You go up to the mountain you're called there. What? You are very ill for days. What very ill for Khadija. days? What, what, what? what? Listen, listen, what are you talking about? I don't understand. Muhammad, he married Khadija and what happened? Became very ill. So we traveled to the mountain, we laid in a cave for a few days. Uh-huh. He doesn't himself know why, so I cannot tell you why. What does this have to do with Mary to Khadija and uh, became ill? Where it says he became ill? Are you an idiot? You're not allowing me to finish. I did. I said, I'm saying to you, where in the story I'm showing you, Muhammad trying to kill himself. Why? I'm not done. Really? Yes, really. Uh, Will you interrupt me again? What do you want to do if I interrupt you? I'll just keep bothering you. Uh, I thought That's you would jump from the top. I thought you would do the same as Muhammad. You would jump from the top of the mountain. And as long as you mention Khadija, do you know that Khadija and Muh how how they get married? Do you know Do you know how uh, uh, Do you know how uh, Muhammad discovered that he is seeing an angel? Yes, I do. How? Tell me. You were making some claims, so I want you to tell me right now. No, you tell me because you said you know. I did not make any claim yet. Hold on. I need to translate. What translate? How Muhammad, how Khadija, she helped him to recognize the angel. Do you know? At age 40, during a retreat in the hills outside Mecca, Muhammad and his first experience of Islam, the angel Gabriel appeared to a fearful Muhammad who was sick at the time. And informed him he is Allah's chosen messenger. Gabriel communicated to Muhammad the first revelation from Allah. That's the story? That's a nice story. Well, I have a different story. Look at my screen and die laughing at your mental illness prophet. This is how your prophet, he communicate with the angel Jibreel. This is the book of Asira Nabawiyah, Ibn Hisham. And I will use Google translation. Qala Ibn Ishaq, and this is page number 239. According to the story, and let me translate. 
and everybody will see. And please don't lie, don't laugh at your prophet, the one you claim he is not mentally ill like you. Here we go. No longer mentally ill, alhamdulillah. Ah, uh, yeah, you no longer, I absolutely. This is why you follow a pervert religion. You know, here, according to the story, read with me. This is not my website, this is not my story, I have nothing to do with it. It says here, in the authority of Khadija, may Allah be pleased with her. That she said the message of Allah, may Allah bless, uh, uh, pray on him and grant him peace. She said, oh cousin, tell me about the friend of yours who will come to you uh, uh, if, if he come to you. <laughs> A friend of yours. <laughs> who is this friend? And I signed out. He said, yes. She said, if he come to you, if it come to you, tell me, okay. Then Jibreel, peace be upon him, came to him. And he used to do, read with me. And he used uh, 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 and, and he used to do uh, like as he's used to do and the messenger of Allah uh, uh, Allah pray on him and salute him said oh Khadija 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 uh, this is him he's here so uh, Jibreel he sat in the corner but Muhammad is not sure this is Jibreel or not he sees somebody in the corner but Khadija she can't see him only Muhammad can see him so he, she told him, when you see this uh, creature again, your friend, tell me about him, okay? And I will come and I will do something. So Muhammad now, he called Khadija. He said, he is here, he is here, come to me. So she said, get up, cousin, and sit on my left thigh. <laughs> so the messenger of Allah, may Allah pray on him and grant him peace. Uh, got up and sat on her Ooh. and she said do you see him he said uh, yes yes I see him then uh, she said okay turn around and sit in my other right thigh so the prophet he stood up and he turned and he sat in her right thigh and she said do you see him he said yes 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 she said okay okay then uh, uh, turn and sit on my lap <laughs> and she said to Muhammad may Allah pray on him and uh, grant him peace uh, okay so uh, turn and sit in her lap she said do you see him he said yes then she said she 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 said uh, she shook sorry she took out uh, her clothes she put down her veil while the messenger of Allah in the top of her and she asked him, do you see him? He said, no. She said, oh, my cousin, stand firm. This is a good news by Allah. This is an angel, not a devil. <laughs> so now you are a Muslim. And I want you to explain to me how Khadija she discovered by having a sexual position that this is an angel, not a devil. And Muhammad, he is the prophet. I mean, she is not the prophet. She is the wife of the prophet. And the prophet Ibn himself. Ibn Ishaq. Huh? Look, I don't know. First, Ibn Ishaq is a modellist, as in the Hajj al-Asqal, he mentioned in the Ah, modellist. Uh, all of you, all of you are modellist. Can you explain, Ibn? Shut up, shut up, shut up. Don't, you want to, you know? Shut up, shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. You want to be rude? I can be rude with you. I will insult your prophet. Be, be careful. You want to you wanna join us? No problem. So, guys, he said, Ibn Ishaq is a modellist. Well, all the Muslims are liars. I agree. And you are a modelist too, and your prophet is a modelist, and we can show you from the Quran. Guys, this is their books. What he said to me? This guy is a fabricator, he makes up stories, he is a liar. So why you call him actually all the hadith you have is coming from his book? Go ahead, Ibn. And behave yourself if you want to stay with us. You do look. Ibn, look, when you're quoting from, from our sources, right, you have to accept particular principles. Ibn, uh, and the thing is, Ibn Ishaq, I mentioned to you, he's a mutallis. So uh, who who, who so said, who said so? Who said so? Who said so? Who said he's a mutallis? Who said he's a Who said he's a mutallis? Who? Ibn Hajar al-Asqalani, Taqrib al-Tahib. And, and do, you, do you agree with Ibn Hajar al-Asqalani more than Ibn Ishaq? Which one came after? How someone, he never witnessed the story, he came long after, he can dispute someone. Okay, listen, listen. So are you saying to me, the one who come after can dispute the one who came before? 
Neither, ne- neither Ibn Hajar. But you said, I'm, I'm, I want to be sure, I want you to confirm to me. The one who came after, can he dispute the one he came before him or he cannot? In hadith, yes. Muhadithin. Only in hadith? Only in, only in hadith? This is the context of hadith. We're not talking about any other issue. No, no, I'm asking you. I'm asking you. No, I, I'm talking about Islam. Islam. In Islam, if somebody came after and someone came before, can the one who came after dispute the one who came before it as a rule in Islam, yes or no? Depends on what science and hadith, yes. I'm not talking about hadith. I'm saying Islam. Islam as rules. This is hadith. I used to look. Listen, don't be, don't, don't be called names. Listen, I'm asking you in Islam. Why you don't say yes or no in Islam? I, let's say I am, uh, 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 you are a Muslim. I am a Christian. He is a Jew. This guy is a Hindu. The one who came before us, can we dispute him? Or the one who is in you cannot dispute the one who was before? I told you, when it comes to hadith, yes, and other issues in Islam, maybe not. Like what other, what other issue, like what? That's already the topic. Like I what? Told you in, in hadith, no, no, you, you, you keep telling me, you keep telling me other matter, but you cannot quote one. Like what? I can. But like what? Look, right now. Look. Tell me one, right tell me one oh, argument. You see, you, you have nothing to say. Let, let me show you how hypocrite you are. The Quran says, the Quran says that the Christians and the Jews, they argue about Abraham. And the Quran say to them, Allah. how you argue about Abraham, you. yet you came after Abraham. <laughs> I told you Ibn Ishaq is unreliable. What did you tell me? Okay, hold on. Uh, okay, listen, listen. <laughs> Guys, Ibn Ishaq is not reliable. I was reading to your friend here the story of your prophet taking shower with dead dogs and women blood from period. Is that a reliable story or not? You haven't provided any source or chain or anything yet, so I can say that. Okay. Uh, are you saying to me you are an expert who never heard the story? That's very good. I can not hear a story and still be an expert. Are you saying to me, how come you know about Ibn Ishaq but you do not know about the hadith? So I'm asking you, do you know? There's no contradiction. Do you, do you know? Okay, do you know the story of your prophet taking dead shower with dead dogs and women blood from period? It's not authentic. It's not authentic. It's not authentic. Who said so? I've heard about it before. Without reading the hadith, you can confirm that it's not authentic? Because in Islam, uh -huh. things like urine is not just, you cannot do wahar with it. Thank you. The hadith will be authentic, not authentic. Thank you. Unless, unless it is, wait, uh -huh. wait, let me uh -huh. finish before. Look, you ask me a question in English. Uh -huh. The reason is because in Islam, these things which you mentioned, they're not just they're impure. You okay. cannot do wahara with it. You cannot do rough or hadith with it. So either it was in the time of necessity or the hadith is not something. This then it's going to contradict other things that are mutawal. You understand? So confirm to me now that it is not, uh, it's not good for any man to do that because that will make him more dirty, correct? I told you. Okay. So we agree about this, me and you. Unless in a time of necessity, of course, if you don't have anything, unless this and that, then yeah, you should. So we agree. We ag Guys, did you hear him? Did you hear this uh, gentleman? He said that uh, 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 urine will make you more dirty. Well, here we go. This is the hadith and this is sahih. I did not say more. I said it's... Uh, you, it you know, you said najis. Najis is way filthy, not only dirty. Najis is filthy. Is not... <laughs> uh, look, the hukum shara'i... Listen, or, uh, you agreed. You agreed uh, that your prophet is najis. Everybody heard you. I did not say najis. Now you're lying. Guys, did he say the word najis? Did he say urine will make you najis? Did, did I say the prophet is najis? No, no, you say that uh, this is hadith cannot be correct because urine will make you najis. You, you said that. No, I said because you cannot do rough or paha, you cannot remove, so you, you cannot remove any impurity by these things. So either it was in a time of necessity or the hadith is not going to be reliable in the end. All right, here we go. No problem. So guys, you cannot even clean it. He said it's not, you know, you cannot, that's it. It's dirty. It's disgusting. It's nudges. So he's a prophet. He jumped in the water, had dead dogs, women of blood from period and stinky garbage. And this hadith is sahih. You did lie and you say it's not sahih. Read it. Does, does it say sahih? Does it say sahih or not? 
it does say Sahih, but the but but the, the, the ruling of Al Bani is not going to be any problem. So then you have to do what others follow. Ah, yeah. so 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 now uh, the one who says Sahih, we say to him, "You are a liar. This guy is a liar. It's not really true." Did I say that? Wait, 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 one second. One second. Did I say that? Yes. Do okay. Do you accept the hadith or not? Do you accept the hadith or not? Do you accept the hadith or not? Wait, 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 one second. You're asking just like the Pharisees and time of Jesus. Listen, listen. Okay, this is this is Al Bukhari. This is Al Bukhari. Listen, listen. This is Al Bukhari. Is Al Bukhari lying to? Look again. All those hadith is Sahih. All those hadith is Sahih. You're a prophet. Take shower with dead dogs and women of blood okay, from period. The prophet. The, okay. Zoom out. Because now you're zooming fully, and I don't know what you're doing. Here. I'm zooming. I'm zooming so you can read. Zoom, zoom a little bit out. This is going too close. Yeah, read it. This is the whole hadith. Nothing is missing. Okay. Again, the ruling of the Albani upon the report is not in Forget about Al Albani. I'm not showing you Al Albani. It says Sahih. First of all, all those books are authentic <laughs> books. All those books, all those books are authentic, and I can show you tons of reference. All of them. It says, okay, hold on. This is, is this one is a Sahih. Is that Al-Albani? No, this is not Al-Albani. Do you see it? This is, this is not Al-Albani. Ah, uh, so anyone, any anyone, he say, oh, this guy is the guy. This guy is a potato. This guy is tomato. Is the guy? But it says Sahih, and this is your Muslim website. You're acting, you're acting just like the Pharisees. Listen, listen, spoke. You don't even know what Pharisees mean. You are a Muslim. You don't even know what Pharisees mean. You listen, listen. Okay, this. Okay, so listen, listen. Uh -huh. All right, all right. So now. Uh, all the hadith says that this is Sahih, suddenly they became fabricated, correct? Fabricated. They are fabricated, right? No, did I say that? So what it is then, what you are saying to me, can you confirm to me, can you confirm to me, can you give me a reference? Hold on, in front of, in, in front of everybody, can you give me, can you give me a reliable sources say that this hadith is corrupted? Is that fair, guys? If you can give me a reliable sources says this hadith is corrupted, I will let it go. And then you are telling the truth. Can you give me one? Send me the hadith in the chat, right? Because I don't, not like I can just copy the, the text. Okay, let me copy it and post it. Here we go. No, no, no. Send the link. The link. Ah, the link. Ah, okay, here we go. Yes. And now let us see if you can keep your promise. Is it only you who don't accept the hadith or or all the Muslims don't accept it? All right. Okay. So Al Muali has an example. He said it is uh, it is weak. Who who said that? Who said? Al Muali, we don't know who Al Muali is. No, no. <laughs> no, tell me who is who okay. who is this guy? You should try to become more familiar with Okay, that. let me get you busted, potato. Here we go. This is Sunan Durar.com. And this is the website. And I will show it to you in Arabic. And you are a potato and you are a modellist. All those in the front of you is going to show you if the hadith is sahih or not. And look what it says. Read, read, read. You see? Al Muhaddith Sahih. Khulasa Sahih. Yeah. There's no. Listen. Okay, hold on. We will show you. Forget about it. So, you see? Ah, ah, ah. Okay, but you failed to give me one. Here we go. This is the Muslim website, official one. Failed to give me one website. Says, do you see anywhere in the page that says this hadith is da'if? Just one person says da'if? No. Look, wait, there is any person say any person here this is your islamic website <laughs> all right listen listen let us continue so you're a prophet this is coming from the biblical pyramidic stack exchange or however the hell you say this what it would seem almost all things that came to contact with an unclean carcass were defiled by it but when it came to contact with water it seems the water was never defiled thank you <laughs> Because water cannot be washed, and or can be said to wash itself. Hmm. So when Muhammad says, "In the in the ma in the ma la yunajisuhu shay," the the water is always clean. The the water is always clean. Nothing make it any clean. Did your prophet made a poo poo, or he is saying the truth? The water always clean, and this is a hadith is sahih, and I can show you tons of reference. 
and this is mutawatir. It's all over. Look how many times. All is sahih. All is sahih. The, the hadith says, uh, it says that Abu Dawood said, mm. I heard Aram Qutayr bin Sa'ad say, I asked the person in charge of the world about the death of the world. Okay, he replied, at most the water reaches what pubes. Then I asked, where does it reach when its level goes down? He replied, below the private parts of the body. Then it and then Abu Dawood said, I measured the breadth of the, of the well of, of Buda'a with my sheet, which I, uh, which I stretched over it. I, I then measured it with my hand, I measured it six cubes in breadth, and then I asked the man who, who opened the door of the garden for me and admitted, okay, so why zooming out now? Sure, you can read better. Or I zooming in. Uh, for me, and then it, uh, to it, how the condition of the world changed from Okay, look, has the condition of this well changed from what it had originally been? Okay, it's in the past, I but this is now. Water, look, listen, listen. <laughs> I saw the color of the water and this world had changed. Ah, uh -huh. so this is a dirty water. In the past, it was maybe very good, but your prophet, when he had a shower with it, it had dead dogs, it had woman blood from period, it had yeah, a stinky well, garbage, I just, I just it had a stinky it. garbage. Listen, listen, you can you can duct tape, you can duct tape. Now listen, so Ibn Ishaq is a liar. Al-Albani is an idiot. Uh, the, the writer of the hadith, are, they are the scholars, but they lie. So who, maybe you are a liar too. Uh, in the front of everybody, I'm going to give you a chance to prove to me that Islam is from God. Go ahead, I will change the whole topic. The hadith says right there. It says what? Okay, that's the condition of this world changed from what it had originally been in the past. You replied no. I saw the color of the water in this world had changed. So, so the meaning that the look, I don't think you understand. No, no, I understand, my friend. Okay. When you are a prophet, when you are a prophet, when you are a prophet, took a shower on it. What it has, it has all those things. Even the hadith says, stinky garbage. Stinky. Okay, look. Okay, listen. What is the size of the water? Yeah, what is the size of the water? What is the size of the water? The size of the water is a smaller, is a small, is in a size of a jacuzzi. <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on. Guys, David in the Bible, he commit fornication and still he is a prophet. Are you sure? Yes, he's still a prophet. Can you show me the reference that he did fornication? Yes, I can show you if you want. Okay. And I will show you the same story you are going to quote for me from your Quran, and people will laugh at you. Look, I'm showing you what you're claiming. No, you just say it in your Bible. Just shut, shut up. You say, you say, everybody heard you. In your Bible, in your Bible, listen, listen. You say it. Everybody heard you. Everybody heard you. Potato. No, 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 no. In the Bible, he did not commit fornication. You are a liar. He married the women. He did not commit fornication. He married the women. In your Quran, in your Quran, listen, the story in your Quran. Listen, listen, listen. Did your, did your Quran mention the story of David taking the, the women of this man and he was spying at her? from the window and he saw her naked yes or no go to look look <laughs> I'm just, I'm just showing you your it is you who mentioned the story so you see you see you you were insulting you were insult listen listen you you were you were insulting me you said in your bible everybody heard you everybody heard you so now we have your Quran in my Bible. Shut up. In my in my Bible, we can talk in the same time, please. We can take in the same time. Ah, oh, listen, potato. So in your Quran, your God, your God Allah, your God Allah, He blessed David for doing for doing such an act. Look again, you have prophets in the Bible committing fornication. You stupid idiot! You are you are posting you are posting you are posting a website of the Mormon you donkey. Those are Mormon. They have a false prophet like yours. 
This is this, those are Mormon, you donkey. <laughs> yeah, but those are Mormon. Those are Mormon. Listen, listen. Yes, read the No, give me. They, they don't have a Bible. Those they have. Own, they, this guy is a fornicator like your prophet. This guy, the Mormon, the Mormon guy. Listen, the Mormon guy. He have the same story. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. No, no, we don't. Okay, hold on, hold on. Hold. One by one, you said we have we have so many. Okay, let's say you said we have so many sect. Who have more sect, Christians or Muslims? That's you are the one who said that. It's you who said that. Oh, you're so retarded. It's you who said that. Why? Why you? Why each time you say something, you bite your tongue? Why can't you? You said in your Christianity you have so many sects. This is those are not Christians. That was not my argument. No, your argument is false. No, this, the Bible doesn't say what you are saying. It is in your Quran. Is it true? I'm asking you. Be honest. Is it true? Is it true? Shh. 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 Is it true that David, in your book, he uh, uh, spy at women? Actually, you know what? Why we talk about David? Is it true that your prophet himself he went to his own son wife, and he flirted with her in her house? Yes or no? That does not have to do anything with the topic. You it have to. It's you who mentioned David. It's you who mentioned David saying he did fornication. You coward. Listen, listen. You are a coward. Listen. You, you say something, you don't want to continue. You are not a man. You mentioned David. You said he committed fornication. In my Bible, David, he married the women. He did not fornicate with the women. However, God punished him and even he, he, he caused his family to be destroyed and his son to die. God did not bless his behavior. In your Quran, your God, he blessed him. And even David, he speak about his having 99 goats. So you are a coward. Now, when you mention David, I have to mention now, you're a prophet going to his own son wife and he flirted with the wife when the husband was away. Is that a true story or false? No, it's not a true story. So why you Muslim write it in your Again, books? You have, look, look, why are you so disingenuous? Okay, uh, give me the true story about, give me the true story. Give me, give me the true story. You, you, it's, it's you who can make sure, listen, 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 you potato. Okay, you want to talk about prophet committing shirt? Isn't it your prophet? He bowed down to the three idols, uh, and he said, uh, the, 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 "Hold on, manat, manat, and al uzza and the third, shut up." You see, 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 guys, he don't want to continue in any topic. He mentioned things. The second I get him busted with it, he want to change the topic right away. Why do you want to talk about David? He don't want to talk about it. Potato. You keep no. He keep changing topic. He mentioned David. He don't want to talk about David no more. He mentioned fornication. He don't want to talk about fornication no more. So now you mentioned fornication. I said your prophet, he went to his own son, wife, and he flirted with her and later he took her. You said the story is not true. Give me the reference. This is the problem with you. My point is no, no, don't change topic. Don't change topic. Don't change topic. Don't change topic. Listen, listen, listen. Here we are not kids. We are not kids. Why you want to change the topic? I will tell you why. Because you're ashamed. Stop and stay with the topic. You mentioned fornication. Prophet, he did fornicate. You said that. Everybody heard you. So let us see who is the prophet to fornicate in the, in the Bible and who is the prophet to fornicate in Quran. You're a prophet. He went to his own son. Now, you said this is not a true story. It is you who said that. It's, 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 it's you who said that religion of Islam, all of it is about zina. Your prophet, did he go to the house of his son? And you worship three testicles, right? You worship three testicles. Here we go. <laughs> You're just a kid. And we are, and I don't have any foreign entertainment. I have in the front of me, I have in the front of me, Okay. Let, he's calling he's calling me he's calling me dog your prophet your prophet last name is ibn kilab your prophet last name ibn kilab the son of dogs so you call me dog first of all dogs are way more honorable than you i trust a dog but i can't trust someone like you not even close to me who trusts a muslim <laughs> oh okay